Hey there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item, well, from the Dollar Tree or from your garage or somewhere around the house. So, you know, there we are. Uh, this is for the narrative lectionary, and we are out of 2 Corinthians, and we're moving into the Lord's Prayer. And this is the first week of the Lord's Prayer. And the text reminds us of how forgiveness is connected to forgiving. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who are indebted to us. Forgive us our debts as we forget our debtors, as we go back and forth, you know. So there's this, I find it interesting that this... Uh, the two things are linked, forgiving and forgiveness. And so playing around with how we talk about that, because that's the, for me, that's a key point in this little short section of scripture that, um, that and it's not, I don't necessarily want to go to the fact that it's, unless you forgive, you can't be forgiven, though one the way it looks in there, uh, that's not the direction I'm going. That's not the springboard. Though, I do believe it's easier to forgive when you have the experience of being forgiven. So if we can remember what God has done for us, that we are forgiven people, then we can reach out and remember that we can forgive the other Forgive the neighbor, forgive the enemy. Um, so, ways to talk about that. One is I thought, you know what, I, there's a teacher. Um, back. So I went to, I lived in southeast Idaho growing up. Shelley, Idaho was the town that I went to high school in. Went to church in Idaho Falls, Idaho. And in Shelley, Idaho, there was a uh, teacher, Mike Winston, uh, Mr. Winston. And he was the physics teacher. And, oh, such... A wonderful teacher, a wonderful teacher. And so, you know, one of the things in uh, physics, in our physics test, we had a little three by five card, and on that three by five card, we could write down formulas. And Mr. Winston says that he goes, if I haven't met, if I haven't had to memorize it, I'm not asking you to have to memorize it. There are certain formulas that we were required to know to have in our head, and and, and it's been so long, but I'm like the. Um, the formula to um, to determine the speed of gravity and things like that. I mean, anyway, all those kind of formulas in there, and um, but we would write them down unless he deemed it. You know, this is important enough that you need to remember. You need to learn this. And he said, and I've done it, and I'm asking you to do it. I won't ask you to do it if I have not done it. And I was thinking about that, where it's like, you know, it's like if I ask my kid to do something, there's a good chance that I've either done it and I can help them, um, or I've done it and I know I don't want to do it again, so I'm going to have one of my kids do it. Did I say that out loud? Anyway, but um, things like I'm going to teach my kids how to load the dishwasher because um, uh, I want them to learn how to do that. And it's all about... We know that our God has forgiven us. We live in that state of forgiveness. So we can then forgive our brother and sister. We can forgive our brother and sister in Christ. We can forgive our neighbors. We can forgive our enemies. We can forgive because we've experienced forgiveness. So there's... So I don't know if I have a specific springboard for this. I've been playing on this, and uh, but the springboard I have is my physics teacher and loading a dishwasher and the things that we have been um, called to do or that we've asked those close to us to do, but they're really things that we're not going to ask them to do it if we haven't done it before. Now, there's always an exception to the rule, you know I mean? It's like... Um, I'm going to ask my dad to fix my car because I don't know how to do that. Um, so there's always that thing. But in 
using that experience of being forgiven gives us an example of how we might forgive. So that's where I go. That's what I got. Um, I hope this can be a springboard for you, get you thinking about other, um, other springboards for yourself. I love it that you're with me on this journey. Um, it's, it's a long one, um, and, but we trust that God is with us, God walks with us, and the Spirit comes and connects us, and the Spirit intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words to express, and we know that God has bound us together as brothers and sisters in this faith. So I am so glad you're with me in this. Um, know that your kids are ecstatic about the work you're doing. Uh, it's, it's so hard for them. And to have that continuity, to have the, the gift that you're giving them, it is a blessing. So uh, may God's blessings be upon you and be with you this week. I hope it's a fantastic one. All right. Peace and blessings, and we'll see you next week.